Changes of the world of our times and of historical significance are unfolding like never before, according to the president of China. Well, things are about to get frisky. China National Administration of Financial Regulation held an important meeting and told brokers to curb leverage to hedge funds. Why do that unless they expect a spike in volatility? What is going on, guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we have a lot of stuff to cover with AMC, GameStop, and then the S&P 500 and what's happening with crypto. All I ask you guys to do in return is please hit the like button. It's free. Get this video to a thousand likes. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. Also, guys, before we get into the video, I want to know, do you like the new thumbnails that I have been using? for the videos. I need to know if you want me to go back to the old thumbnails with the green writing and the chart overlaid behind myself or if you like these new thumbnails that I've been using the red and black, the AMC Theaters logo in the right and some additional designs to it. All right, all right, let's jump into the video. So 8.3 million new shorts were created in one session and yes, we're talking about yesterday when AMC tanked and like I said, get ready for a potential drop in AMC because they like to reset the cycle. You can take a look at the short interest. When the short interest is rising they are just creating more ammo to drop the price again and then filter it out and continue to walk the price down walk the short interest down and hide everything else plus not to mention yesterday's session take a look at the short exempt volume 1.1 million shares what does it usually trade oh between 100,000 200,000 well we just 10x that Adam Aaron knows when to put out negative news he knows when to put out positive news because he is a puppet there's nothing more to say here the proof is right in front of you if you like Adam I don't know what to tell you I gave him the benefit of the doubt tons of times but the truth is right in front of you guys AMC 2.8 million shares available to borrow make sure to keep watching until we get into the charts most recent fee of 0.7 percent so there's not even really a borrow fee call to put ratio we are losing bad on the options chain 2,000 calls compared to 35,000 puts expiring in the money plus it's a Friday they're tanking it more puts are going to end up expiring in the money and you're getting that gamma build to the downside and market makers are collecting all of this premium on these contracts over a hundred K for this week hundred K for next week and the list goes on now speaking of all those short exempts that stacked up the short volume that stacked up the weeble order flow you can see the inflow versus outflow still green 20 to 16 and the price continues to drop on top of that there was an order imbalance on amc on the buy side as well for 169 169,871 shares on the buy side so they couldn't match sellers to the buyers yet the price is still tanking and there are apparently a ton more sellers now before we get into the charts one more thing all of a sudden the FTX token is mooning you can see right here FTT USD up 62 percent today all of a sudden when AMC is dropping massively what do you guys think about this in the comments down below any correlation here you let me know this is where we stand AMC down and almost another 10%. So SSR might get put on again, trading at $7.88 on the day, down 9.6% to be exact. Tested this trend line yesterday off the flush, came back up, got rejected at the $8.60 level, came back down, and this is where we are, touching that trend line once again. At this point, we're just waiting for a break below this trend line. AMC is looking extremely bearish. They're putting it through another cycle. You're not getting that point of interest at the moment. Like we thought, the setup was there and they pushed it into the floor. They manipulated the volume and they manipulated it to the downside very bad. At this point in time, I'm looking at the Citigroup price target because that's exactly where the algos, the mark makers are pushing this stock down to $4.75. That is the level I'm watching for AMC to bottom at before we get the rip. It's extremely annoying. I can't predict catalysts. I follow the algos. I predict technical analysis and we had a strong chance at mooning there. But as soon as volume decreased, you saw the barcoding and the price action slow down right into the catalyst. We knew it was going to be bad. Now on a more positive note, if you even care about the fundamentals at this point, Dane Cook has been hyping up AMC on Twitter, posting the fire emojis to the earnings release and the earnings number that AMC actually had. And then he tweeted, wait until you see what's next. Hashtag Dane Train. It's about to get loud. GameStop. I added more puts. If you want to know my positions, as soon as I take them, join the Discord. And we are starting a trading challenge very soon, but I'll put out a video on that. GameStop is trading at $12.56, down 1.1% on the day. There it goes. It broke below the wedge. 10.10 is coming. And then after that, if we continue to drop, I see that 470 level to 375. That's the range I'm looking at for GameStop to hit the very, very bottom. AMC around 475, GameStop around 375 before getting that rip higher. And at this point, it's probably not going to flash to 
10 grand a share once you wake up it's probably going to be a slow climb because look how manipulated the price action is look how manipulated it is with these algos and everything going on at this point they are going to slowly scale out of their positions and make a safer way out for these institutions and cause less systematic risk it's just the way it is it's just the way it looks at the moment however we have been making money. We can make money on this. We can make money against their algos. All we have to do is read it. Overall, I see GameStop over the next couple of days coming down to that $10 and 10 cent level, most likely next week. GameStop, 500,000 shares available to borrow, and the option chain isn't reporting anything over on Stonker Tracker. You can see no call to puts, nothing being reported on GameStop. 6,000 short exempts yesterday. It didn't really fall. It didn't really collapse with AMC. So you're not going to see that stack up. Now, pro Palestine protesters breached the premises of BlackRock's New York city headquarters so i mean blackrock this is for you not sure if this is good news or bad news take it with what you will at the beginning of the video i covered how china told their brokers to curb leverage to hedge funds which that has been going on over in our markets as well stuff with gary gensler stuff with ken griffin going back and forth i never asked you guys your thoughts on this do you think there's going to be a spike in volatility we saw the vix fly the other day and then the spy start selling off but we're seeing something different with the spy today and before we get into it Make sure to pop in the Discord. The link is right under the video. I'm just plugging this real quick, so make sure to keep watching. Keep watching. Discord is only $2. I'm in there on the daily so you can talk with me. You can request videos. We can bounce things back and forth. Plus, almost 500 of the most amazing people are in there who talk stocks all day long. If you're seeking financial freedom and that's your goal, join the Discord best vibes in there. Also, if you want up to 16 free stocks, each valued up to two grand per stock and having your uninvested cash earn 5%, use my link in the top of the description or pin in the top comments, download Moomoo. Once you make a deposit, you will start earning benefits from there. So go do that, guys. If you deposit $100, you're also getting a guaranteed free SoFi stock. So there's no reason not to do that. Now, 1.59 billion worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum options expire today. So what's happening with the price? Ethereum just broke 2000 at a nasty boom boom candle right here coming up to previous resistance and it is fighting it right now down 1.37 percent on the day as for bitcoin also going extremely green trading at thirty seven thousand three hundred and twenty dollars as we speak got a nice little breakout here with some volume and looks like it wants to continue pushing which is scary for anyone bearish on the market because we talked about the correlation between bitcoin and the s p 500 once bitcoin looks safe as an investment for these institutions which it looks like right now it acts almost as a warehouse a stack spot and i think it correlates over to the equities market but that being said spy is trading at 436.71 up 0.66 percent on the day broke out of this channel that we had drawn out and we're sitting on the 45 minute time frame broke out of this channel bounced off of this support trend line this descending trend line that we had drawn out and we had this all drawn out before right came back up bought resistance here broke above and retested this channel we didn't get the break above as of right now so i was hoping for a rejection there for the spy to sell off a little bit further i am in puts right now however i'm not going to be afraid to jump out of them if the spy starts showing some serious serious strength but speaking of that bloomberg recently written an article that the u.s economy is now breaking in plain sight is it in plain sight? Is it breaking? What do you guys think? Because as of right now, the SPY doesn't look too weak, even though I feel like it should have been weak because of how long of a rip that we had. Overall, if we get rejected here, I want to see the SPY break back below 433.19 for it to go lower. And then those puts end up printing. I'd be looking to get out of my puts right around 430.75. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to enjoy your weekend. Have posts notifications on for the channel let me know what you think about the old thumbnails or the new thumbnails which ones do you want me to keep using because as of right now it's the red and black amc design you'll see it when the video goes up but let me know in the comments down below guys pop in the discord so we can talk over the weekend i love you all lottery stocks out